before that, it's time for this. Uh, we haven't got too long to talk about it, but I, I wanted to talk about it in today's show. Time for a bit of Varsicle, a brand new feature where we have a look at some of the controversial refereeing decisions from across the weekend. There was a lot, but the main one is Diogo Jota's dive. Dark to the nice. What, what do you make of that? Martin Dubravka comes out. There was limited contact, if at all. There was no contact, right? And he took number two paces. I think realised he might be taking the ball a little bit too wide. For This could be a 50-50 yeah. chance, so I'll go down. In my opinion, it's not a penalty. I, right. I can, do you know what? I can see where maybe the refs are coming from by not awarding it, right? But no, by by sticking with their decision. But when I watched it, the extra step he takes in between the the where so-called he's standing, contact, yep, and then goes down. I'm with you. I think he's either taken the touch too far and thought, do you know what? I can't roll this in. So do you know what I'll do? I'll go down now because I can't get there. Because that's one of those where you go past a keeper and you think in a split second, can I get there? Oh no, I can't. I'll go down. But from the referee's perspective, I necessarily think that. Um. They might look at it and go, a couple of scenarios, right, he's gone around the goalkeeper, he stayed on his feet, he's then gone down, he, he's got a chance of putting the ball in the empty net, why would he go down? So all these things in my head would be like, if I'm the ref, well, why would he go down there? He's gone around the goalkeeper, he's got a tap in, so it must, there must have been contact for him to go down, so I'll give it. But again, from a player's perspective, no way is that a penalty. You're not doing that. Um, no, I'll, I'll stay on my feet, put it yeah. in the empty net. Uh, Anthony Taylor, he was the ref, pointed to the spot, and then the decision was checked by VAR, Stuart Atwell. And the on-field decision stood. Mm. Why? Because it wasn't clear and obvious. It's amazing they can't look at it and go, no. Nope. Not... Again, clear and obvious comes down to interpretation. Mm. What you think is clear and obvious. Because there's minimal contact, like there is a bit of contact, that's why it's probably they couldn't overturn it. But when you look at that, it's, it's the extra step in between the contact and then him going down, which would make me go, well, hold on, he's threw himself mm. to the ground there. That's the bit that I thought they'd go, nah, no. Nope. Embarrassing. Yeah. You'll never get a manager come out and say that about his player, though. No, of course not. I understand that. Mm. But it is embarrassing. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.